The Schism of 1552 was an important event in the history of the Church of the East. It divided the Church into two factions, of which one entered into communion with Rome becoming part of the Catholic Church at this time, and the other remained independent until the 1800s. Although the Illyrian line, which emerged as a result of this schism, did eventually enter into communion with Rome, Various spiritual Christian sects with their origins in the Church of the East emerged as a result of this schism. Ironically, the Shimon line whose entry into full communion with Rome caused this schism, in fact became independent again by the 1600s. The circumstances of the 1552 schism were controversial at the time, and have been disputed ever since. Around the middle of the 15th century the Patriarch Shemi circumflex inverted question mark on Ivibusidi made the patriarchal succession hereditary, normally from Moncleton F.U. This practice, which tended to result in a shortage of eligible heirs, eventually led to a schism in the Church of the East. The Patriarch Shemi circumflex inverted question mark on Vishoe circumflex inverted question mark Arb caused great offence at the beginning of his reign, by designating his 12-year-old nephew Hnanishoe circumflex inverted question mark as his successor, presumably because no older relatives were available. Several years later, probably because Hnanishoe circumflex inverted question mark had died in the interim, he designated as successor his 15-year-old brother Elia, the future patriarch Eliavite. Besides making these two provocative appointments, he was also accused by his opponents of permitting concubinage, selling clerical posts and living intemperately. By 1552 SHEME circumflex inverted question mark on VISHOE circumflex inverted question mark Arb had become so unpopular that his opponents rebelled against his authority. The rebels, principally from the Amid, Sit and Selma's districts, elected as patriarch a monk named Sulaka, the superior of the monastery of Rabin Hormuzd near Alkosh. Unfortunately, no bishop of metropolitan rank was available to consecrate him, as canonically required. Franciscan missionaries were already at work among the Nestorians, and they persuaded Sulacares supporters to legitimize their position by seeking their candid ATRS consecration by Pope Julius III. Sulaca went to Rome to put his case in person. At Rome he made a satisfactory Catholic profession of faith and presented a letter drafted by his supporters in Mosul, which set out his claims to be recognized as Patriarch. On 9 April 1553, having satisfied the Vatican that he was a good Catholic, Sulaco was consecrated Bishop and Archbishop in the Basilica of St. Peter. On 28 April he was recognized as Patriarch of Mosul by Pope Julius III in the Baldovina Disponente Clementia and received the pallium from the Pope's hands at a secret consistory in the Vatican. These events, which marked the birth of the Chaldean Catholic Church, created a permanent schism in the Church of the East. Sulaka returned to Mesopotamia towards the end of the same year. In December 1553 he obtained documents from the Turkish authorities recognizing him as an independent Chaldean patriarch, and in 1554, during a stay of five months in Amid, consecrated five metropolitan bishops. SHEME circumflex inverted question mark on VISHOE circumflex inverted question mark Arb responded by consecrating two more underage members of the patriarchal family as metropolitans for Nisibis and Gazata. He also won over the governor of Amadia, who invited Sulaka to E circumflex inverted question mark Amadia imprisoned him for four months, and put him to death in January 1555. There are two very different, and contradictory, traditions as to the circumstances of Sulaka's election. According to one version of events, which derives from a letter of Andrew Macius, and is also reflected in the Vatican's consistorial act of April 1553, the schism of 1552 was precipitated by the death of the patriarch Shemi circumflex inverted question mark on Barma Marat Gazata in 1551, 
and by the subsequent consecration of an eight-year-old boy, S-H-E-M-E circumflex inverted question mark on V-E-D-N-H-E, as his successor. Sulaka was thereupon elected by a party in the church which disapproved of the principle of hereditary succession. S-H-E-M-E circumflex inverted question mark on V-E-D-N-H-E and Sulaka then lived for two years as rival patriarchs. Until S H E M E circumflex inverted question mark on N H encompass Sulaka's death in 1555, dying himself in 1558. This tradition sought to legitimize Sulaka's election to Pope Julius III and his cardinals by presenting it as a return to the elective principle.